Okay, so uh, today I'm just going to show you a really quick demo of like uh, maybe uh, some of you would like to have uh, quick access to the actual LTC Chess Hub and don't have to go into the URL and, and all of these kind of stuff, but I'm just going to show you maybe one cool little trick or a good app to have. So if you go to a Google site like normal one, you see the apps over here, just go to Google Store and after you click on to store, you want to go and look at for app launcher. Oh, there it is, app launcher. And scroll down until you see this little logo, which is like the gearbox or whatever it is, and just say uh, free, just add it to it. And then uh, when you've done that, uh, what's going to happen is just that if I go back to my home page, what's going to do is just that if you click on those little uh, squares, you click on the apps over here you get to have all of these and this is like configure over here as you can see I have my own LTCHS hub and I'm just gonna add like I like to have the hub right there but just how do you create this icon and how also you uh, have it to a specific page like I love to have like I want to have LTCHS um, news and like it's fairly easy to go in here and just say okay LTCHS news that's one way to do it on all of this but also you can just go directly into it as long as you are logged in as uh, gelterio uh, at rdpsd.db.ca so just I'm going to copy this link right away you'll see why just you can actually right click onto it and just say copy or you can say control C or command C onto a Mac and after that when you have the Apple launcher I'm going to show you over here okay you see configure if you click onto this it will launch I'm just going to go over here. It will launch this over here. You already got some presets uh, services that you can actually just click and drag it over here. So I'm going to just show you one little one that I wanted to have, which, where is that thing? Also drawing. So I'm going to click onto this and then you can actually order it where you want it. So I'm going to just click onto that. So that will show if I go back to my site and I'm just going to refresh. Don't forget, a lot of people forget about refreshing. If you see this over here, you see there's a drawing. So in this app, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to say add a custom one. And as you remember, I will say call this LTCHS uh, news. And the URL I copied before. Okay, so that's what it is. I'm going to check, make sure it's LTCHS news. Now the icon that you want to put in. If you don't push, like I'll show you right away, let's say save service. And it will show at the bottom. Uh, let me scroll down and this is how it's going to look so now in order to add an icon I'm just gonna go to over here I don't think we have an icon for that but let me see just images and I'm gonna see uh, news just for looking at that and don't forget the search tool a lot of people forget about that but if you click on this here's what happens you can search for any kind of size and also you get to have icons which is the best thing to have what you're looking for so let me see uh, oh, that seems to be pretty good anything else I'll use this one and then don't copy this or whatever just say view images and as long as this little icon is on the web you will always have that which is people from Calgary wow okay so anyways I'll copy this link hopefully this is a PNG we'll see how it's gonna work go back to your app launcher and then in here I'll just gonna go and edit and I see icon URL click onto that and then remember I did the control C to copy it and save services or oh, there it is and then you can actually just go in and drag it all the way to the top where you want it to be so therefore I got it right there and I'm gonna go back to an RDPSD you don't see it right away but if I refresh my page and then go back you see then I get directly I'm just gonna close it just to show you how it works Hopefully it does work, and then it should launch pretty soon. Mind you that I'm doing this where the switch got turned on, and there you go, you got access to that. So hopefully you uh, can use this app. It's a pretty useful thing, especially if you want to have access to really quick place into your own little app place. So hopefully that helps.